Now, former Nigerian Vice President Atiku Abubakar has been elected as the candidate of the opposition People's Democratic Party for the 2023 presidential election. Now, he polled 371 votes ahead of his closest challenger, Governor Nyesum Wike, who polled 237 votes. And former Senate President Bukolo or Bukala Sareki got 70 votes. Now, Atiku's chances of winning the primary were boosted minutes before voting commenced at the Mashuda Biola Stadium, Abuja, after Sokoto State Governor Aminu Tambual withdrew from the contest and endorsed the former vice president. Now, Atiku was the candidate of a PDP in the 2019 elections won by President Mahamudu. Buhari, his main rival in the 2023 election, would be known when the ruling All, All Progressive Congress APC picks its candidate sometime next week. Now, Dr. Chukwe Mecca Eze is Executive Director of West African Network for Peace Building. He's joining us for a conversation. Thank you for joining us. So now we have Atiku Abubakar back in this race from your you know, observation and workings on the continent. How would this play out in Nigerian politics? Very interesting. Um, very interesting days ahead. Um, the uh, opposition party, the main opposition party, the People's Democratic Party, uh, enshrined in its constitution um, rotational presidency, which means between the north and the south because of the ethnic tension and also religious tension in Nigeria. But they've jettisoned that and um, now uh, handed over the um, flag bearer to Atiku Abubakar, who is from the Northeast. Mm. I do not know how uh, APC will respond to that, uh, but that is going to be interesting because as far as the APC is concerned, President Buhari have done eight years and um, probably APC might allow the South to take a bite um, this time around. However, there are also some northern candidates who have picked their form. A uh, few of them have picked their form from the All Progressive Congress. So I wouldn't know how APC mm. will respond to that. But however APC respond, however they decide to choose their uh, running mates, and however they decide to share the remaining um, um, power, that will determine also how the electorate will vote. Mm, fascinating. I, I know in Nigeria there's been a lot of contention about even the age of a president, Mahmoud Buhari, for example, and some of his ministers of state. The youth have been calling for inclusion in governance of a country. We know Atiku is 74 years and over. Uh, how then would a the youth be receiving this? Well, um, always, um, if you listen to... Uh, former Vice President Atiku, he said this is a context and a competition. And if the youth want, they can also uh, come into the ring. Um, however, there is a movement um, across the country um, behind uh, former Governor P2P, uh, who is indeed making waves amongst the younger generation because of what he uh, is known for and what he stands for, which is... Um, a lot of political capital and integrity. So uh, P2B uh, left PDP and now gone to Labour Party. There is every indication that he might be handed over the ticket to be, a, to be the flag bearer for uh, Labour Party and that Labour is willing to mobilize uh, around him, even though Labour does not have grassroots um, uh, party machineries as it were. But they are saying that they are going to use the Labour force Mm. and the labor platform to um, uh, mobilize for P2P. So that's on one, on one um, area. Then, of course, the other area is also that the main opposition party have not taken, uh, have not leveraged on um, APC's perceived um, uh, bad governance to also um, uh, articulate what they want um, to do. In fact, I can assure you that before they heal the wounds, coming out of this um, uh, primary race, it will already have taken a toll on them and their own ambition about, on taking over power from uh, the, uh, the APC. Mm. Before I let you go, we know that there's heightened insecurity in parts of Nigeria. Issue of kidnapping is still on the front burner. There's also that particular matter about farmer header clashes. How will these, you know, influence voter choices come next year? I know you've been doing a lot of work, uh, you know, on the sub-region observing these trends and happenings? 
Well, again, it will depend on the mantra that um, either the ruling party or the opposition comes with. Um, when APC took over power from PDP, the mantra was the mantra of change. And they also came with Puhari, who is a judge to have um, integrity and who was going to fight corruption. So I don't know the mantra they will come with. My own concern is that the opposition political party have not actually articulated very well how they want to rise to power from the ruling party. And especially that a lot of people have argued that the ruling party have not lived up to expectation. But the voice of the opposition is very low mm. at this moment. So at the end of the day, my hunch is that a lot of Nigerian citizens will vote individuals rather than political parties.